Fibroids can cause infertility. It depends on where they're located in the uterus. If they change the shape of the cavity where the baby implants, then they can prevent a woman from getting pregnant or increase her chances of, of having a miscarriage when she does get pregnant. Fibroids that are outside of the cavity, that are in the wall of the uterus or hanging off the back of the uterus, don't seem to cause those problems. Recurrent pregnancy loss would be one reason to take a look at the cavity and see if there's a fibroid in there. Um, heavy bleeding with your periods, pain or pressure um, in the pelvis, uh, frequent urination, all of those can be symptoms of fibroids. If the fibroid changes the shape of the cavity, then we do see a, a decrease in, in um, her chances of getting pregnant, particularly um, if she's trying to get pregnant using assisted technologies like IVF. And then we also see a, a, a substantial increase in her miscarriage rate. But women who have fibroids can still get pregnant on their own and they can carry to term. And so it's, it's not 100%. What we're trying to do when we, help, when we offer to help women by, by removing a fibroid is we're trying to improve their chances of getting pregnant and taking home a healthy baby. Nothing, nothing when it comes to women getting pregnant is 100%. And I never tell women that they can never get pregnant. Um, but it, you know, there are things that we can do that are going to improve their chances of getting pregnant. And that's what myomectomy or removal of a fibroid is for.